A 17-year-old boy has been shot dead in Southwark. <laughs> I don't know, whatever comes more, he comes more in it. I mean, has been named as the drill rapper Incognito. He was killed on the same street in Camberwell where his friend was shot dead in May. Now, the London borough of Southwark is well known to be a dangerous borough. In a recent crime and safety study, the borough was ranked among the top 10 most dangerous London boroughs, with the crime rate of Southwark in 2023 being 116 crimes per 1,000 people. This statistic then comparing poorly to London's crime rate of 105 crimes per 1,000 people. Southwark is a borough that is home to around 315 thousand residents that currently live in and around the London borough of Southwark. What a lot of these residents don't know about, however, is the dangerous gang war that took place in some of Southwark's most well-known areas. This gang war taking place in Peckham and Walworth. Peckham being home to the prominent Zone 2 gang, and Walworth being home to the rival gangs Moscow 17, B17, and AY17. These three gangs would become closely affiliated and would have a dangerous beef with the rival Zone 2 gang, which was only situated around three streets away. Now, you may be confused as to how teenagers from both Walworth and Peckham would begin to have such a dangerous gang war, resulting in the deaths of multiple people. This then also resulting in dangerous broad daylight stabbings and shootings playing out in front of residents living in the area. Now, the Zone 2 gang was actually created by young gang members that repped the gang PK, or Peckham Kids. Around 2014, these members then began to rep a local Peckham gang known as 365, or 365 Dank Boys. This 365 gang then became the gang we know as Zone 2, around 2014. Another gang that Zone 2 is closely allied with is that of YPB, which was known as Younger Peckham Boys. These two sub-gangs often share members. The YPB gang would later be repped by the popular rapper Gully. The older gang to YPB was just known as Peckham Boys, and was actually the gang that the popular rapper Giggs repped. When Zone 2 members would blow up in the UK drill scene, their affiliation with the YPB gang would often be something that they would rap about. Another gang that is often confused with Zone 2 and YPB is that of Hit Squad, which is just a sub-gang that contained Zone 2's most dangerous and active members. A prominent member of Hit Squad was PS. Around 2014 and 15, the most well-known members of Zone 2 would be Narsty, who would later become known as Quengface, Preacher who would later change his name to P.S. and Trizak, who was actually dropping music around 2014 and 2015. In recent years, however, the Zone 2 gang has basically gone extinct, leaving new younger offshoot sets to gain attention within the streets. Throughout this video, we'll also be explaining Zone 2's crazy run in the UK drill scene, before then seemingly falling out of relevance. It's also to note that Zone 2 didn't actually have a deadly rivalry with gangs from Walworth around 2015, with these two gangs actually being affiliated, some members even sharing friendships with one another. An example of this being Trizak, who was actually the cousin of Moscow 17 member Incognito. The gangs that are based around Walworth and actually oppose the Zone 2 gang are those of Moscow 17, which is a gang mainly situated around the Brandon estate within the SE 17 postcode. This gang then becoming the main rivals to Zone 2, however, only around one street away from this Moscow 17 gang lies another dangerous group referred to as Browning 17. This gang being based around the Browning estate also in the SE 17 postcode, the final gang gang allied with these two gangs is that of AY17, which is a small street gang based on the Aylesbury estate within Walworth. SC17, this AY17 gang is also sometimes referred to as Suicide Squad. However, for simplicity's sake, I'll just refer to it as AY17. Now, the Moscow 17 gang was actually closely allied with the Peckham Boys based gang, Zone 2, with members of Zone 2 even appearing in an old Moscow 17 music video released in November 2015. This music video featured SK, who later became known as Incognito. In the background of the music video, Trizak and Quengface can also be seen, with Trizak even being the cousin of Incognito, which would become something often referenced when the two sides would begin to have a deadly rivalry. The friendship between the members would all change in early 2016, resulting in the deaths of multiple people and sparking one of London's most infamous gang rivalries. Around the beginning of 2016, a member of Zone 2 known as PS, who was only around 15, would rob the cousin of a Moscow 17 member known as Loose Screw. Once Loose Screw would find out out that PS had robbed his cousin, they would have a fight that then resulted in flick knives being drawn. However, no one was seriously injured in this fight. After this small incident, a member of Moscow 17 known as Tizzy T would attempt to resolve the situation. He would go out of his way to speak to both members, who would supposedly agree to dead the beef. Although days later, Tizzy T would be attacked by a Zone 2 member, being stabbed in the chest multiple times. Tizzy T would actually be pronounced dead on the scene, but by a miracle was brought back to life by paramedics. This being an incident often rapped about by Zone 2 members.
members. The stabbing of Tizzy T would split both Moscow 17 and Zone 2 indefinitely, and is the main reason that both Moscow 17 and Zone 2 had beef. This resulted in stabbings and shootings playing out between the gangs in South London. On the 6th of June 2016, a 15-year-old member of Moscow 17 who went by the street name Rizzy Ramps would be attending a fun fair in Burgess Park, which is actually the park that separates Zone 2 territory and Moscow territory. Anyways, Rizzy Ramps would be with his family when two Zone 2 members would notice him. The Zone 2 members chased him and stabbed him multiple times in the stomach and back in front of horrified families. It was said that Rizzy Ramps's organs were exposed following the stabbing, with an air ambulance landing in the park and airlifting him moments later. Rizzy Ramps would actually go on to survive this attack which was crazy due to the severity of it. Under a month later, on the 1st of July 2016, a member of Moscow 17 known as Knockout Ned would be in a Camberwell McDonald's. At around 12 a.m., a rival Zone 2 member would notice Knockout Ned. The Zone 2 member then stabbed Knockout Ned in the neck, with police then arriving moments later. Luckily, Knockout Ned was able to make a recovery following the attack. This stabbing is often mentioned on Zone 2 songs, for example on the heavily disrespectful track No Censor, Unruly Bad, would rap the lyric, Ned just wanted a cheeseburger. Max, what you do that for? Knockout's juice gets spilled on the floor. Huh, you just started a war. This just showing that the Zone 2 members knew it was going to be a war following the stabbing of Knockout Ned. At the end of 2016, two members of Moscow 17, being Screw Loose and GB, would feature on a song together titled Violence. This song gained a small amount of attention, currently sitting on around 330,000 views. What this music video did do, however, was show the potential that the rapper GB had. Moscow 17 would also drop the iconic song titled Moscow March on the 28th of December 2016. This song featuring Tizzy T, Loose Screw, and finally GB, who was making a real noise, but sadly would be killed in 2018. 2017 would roll around and would see a violent incident taking place between both Zone 2 and Moscow 17, with it being thought that a M17 member would spot a Zone 2 member who went by the name Fredro. Fredro would be stabbed around 14 times by the Moscow member. Fredro was rushed to hospital and would make a recovery following the attack, with it even being alleged he was kicked out of the Zone 2 gang after the attack. It's also important to note that Harlem Spartans would start to get involved in the war around this time, siding with the Moscow 17 gang, B-17 gang, and AY-17 gang. The Harlem and Moscow gang would actually get extremely close and would often ride out onto rivals like 150, Zone 2, and 410 together. This turning deadly when a Moscow 17 member and Lats from Harlem Spartans would ride out and it would turn left when Lats was stabbed, and the Moscow member would leave Lats. This then resulted in tension between certain Harlem members and certain Moscow members. However, since then, it seems like they are somewhat neutral towards each other. A few months after the stabbing of Fredro, Zone 2 members, Trizak, Quengface, and PS would link up and would drop the UK drill anthem titled No Hook. This song gaining around 1.8 million views, which was very successful for the time. Zone 2 members, Quengface, Trizak, and PS would then preview a track titled Sticks and Stones, which was well taken by the UK drill community. But before this track could have been released, an alleged affiliate of Zone 2 would have been killed, thus turning the dangerous beef into a war that would last years and would result in the murders of multiple members. On the 5th of June 2017, two members of the Moscow 17 gang known as Incognito and JB, or Jet Black, would be riding on bikes around Peckham. It's alleged these two members would be looking for a member of Zone 2 in specific, this allegedly being six. After searching for a few minutes, Incognito and JB would notice Abs, who was with his older brother, who was a YPB member. Abs was also supposedly the cousin of six and wasn't actually a Zone 2 member, but was friends with a few members. This didn't mean anything to the Moscow members, who then launched an attack on Abs. Abs was chased with it being alleged the Moscow 17 members then stabbed him in the heart. The attackers fled, and sadly Abs would be pronounced dead outside of a Tesco's in Peckham. It's thought that Abs's older brother known as Ibs would go on to snitch, with Screwloose even releasing the papers that showed Ibs snitching. This then led to both Incognito and Jet Black being arrested shortly after the murder. In the beginning of 2018, both Incognito and Jet Black would be on trial for the murder. However, both would bust the case, this mainly being due to a lack of evidence. Rest in peace, Abs. It would be around 2017 that a member of the Harlem Spartans gang based around Kennington would spot Quengface and his mum. The member would start shooting toward Quengface, this then leading to Quengface supposedly leaving his mum and running away. Andrils from Harlem would mention this in his breakout track titled Youngest and Baddest. Released at the start of 2018, Andrils rapped, Zone 2 pecs, where I slapped it. Quengface dashed and his mum nearly had it. Oh shit, that would have been tragic. GB from Moscow 17, who was a UK drill rapper, would also be sent to Jamaica by his mum around 2017, as she had 
had fears he was involved with the local gangs. He was also stabbed previously in 2016. GB would then make the decision to return to England in 2018. However, this would sadly lead to his tragic death. In April 2018, members of Zone 2 would start to circle their rival blocks in Walworth recording every second of it. They would drive around the Brandon estate, pressuring random people, asking if they were Russians or not. This being due to the fact that the rival gang Moscow 17 was named after the capital of Russia, one of these rideouts would turn deadly, resulting in the death of a loved Moscow 17 member known as GB. On the 5th of May 2018, four members of Zone 2 would be riding in a car around the Brandon estate. The four members would spot GB with other Moscow 17 members. The members were standing on the corner of John Ruskin Street. The Zone 2 members drove past GB firing two shots out of a car. GB was hit twice in the chest and would die in the arms of Incognito, who was one of GB's closest friends. With these two members even having a few songs together, GB was pronounced dead on the scene, with police launching a murder investigation. This investigation has seen little to no arrests made after six years. Years, with the murder going unsolved. On the fifth anniversary of GB's murder, Crime Stoppers would offer up a £20,000 reward to anyone with information. Rest in peace, GB. Something that makes the death of GB even more sad was the fact that a comment posted by GB would be found on an old music video that featured the rapper's Preacher, nowadays known as P.S. and Rids. GB wrote Preacher and Rids going in as usual, this just showing that all of these guys used to be friends and would later end up riding out onto their old friends, just demonstrating how pointless this gang life is. It was also thought that the intended target of the shooting was that of Incognito, who would be sought out by Zone 2 members. The death of GB would gain loads of attention in the news and media, this being due to how shocking it was. The Met Police would then begin to take down Moscow 17 music videos, a prime example of this being Moscow March, which had amassed around a million views at this time. Around two weeks following the death of GB, the man that was with GB in his last moment, Incognito, would release a heartfelt tribute track toward GB, this being titled Blessed, which opened with a picture of GB and the message, in love Loving memory of GB, sadly gone but never forgotten. Look over your loved ones and protect us all. Love you, family. Two months following the death of GB, a member of Harlem Spartans known as Lats would ride out with a Moscow 17 member. Sadly, this ride out would go wrong, and Lats would be stabbed and killed by a 150 member, with the Moscow member leaving him to die. I'm saying this because this incident would cause tension between both Moscow 17 and Harlem Spartans, with a collage of Snapchats being posted by members involved, seemingly disrespecting each other, although it seems that nowadays days both gangs are somewhat affiliated with each other, with certain members beefing certain members. A week following the murder of Lats, Incognito would sadly be stabbed and killed, on the same road that GB was killed only months prior. On the 1st of August 2018, Incognito would be chilling on the Brandon estate with a younger Moscow 17 member. The two Moscow members would spot a man who was wearing a Rolex. Incognito and the younger member would approach the man, robbing his Rolex. The man then retaliated, pulling out a lock knife and chasing Incognito, who wasn't armed. Incognito was stabbed in the neck twice, with the younger member then fighting back and stabbing the man. Sadly, Incognito would be pronounced dead on the scene, with the man that stabbed him being arrested shortly after. Later in 2019, Kenneth Umezi was cleared of all charges in a case of self-defense. Rest in peace, Incognito. Zone 2 members would be quick to start dissing both Incognito and GB, with these two losses being very big for Moscow 17, who by this point would fall out of relevance and wouldn't really be heard from. Around the end of 2018 and start of 2019, members of Zone 2 would begin to gain attention in the UK drill scene, with members like Quengface going viral and subsequently gaining his own fan base, dropping songs like Three Stripes and His Fire in the Booth. These two songs, both sitting on on over 1 million views. At the beginning of 2019, a member of the YPB gang, which was closely allied with Zone 2, would drop his debut track titled Movies. This member being Gully, who was well known to be a dangerous member of YPB, Karma from Zone 2 would also be gaining hundreds of thousands of views in the UK drill scene around this time, dropping multiple songs at the start of 2019. Sadly, however, only five months into 2019, a friend of GB would be killed after attending GB's vigil. Junior was supposedly affiliated with the AY-17 gang based around the Aylesbury estate, this set being allied with Moscow, 17. It's to be noted, however, that Junior was not really a gang member, and was mostly just affiliated. Junior was a very well-known person around the Aylesbury estate, with it even being said he was very loved. Junior was focusing on his education around 2019. However, sadly, due to him being associated with members of the AY-17 gang, he wouldn't be able to prosper in his education, and would sadly be killed. On the 5th of May 2019, exactly one year following on from the death of his friend GB, 
Junior would be at a vigil that was held in remembrance for GB. At around 9 p.m., Junior would be on his way home from the vigil. A member of YPB known as Suspect would be circling the area and would notice Junior. Junior would begin to run, however Suspect caught up as he was riding a bike. Junior would then seemingly crawl up next to a wall, which is when Suspect would retrieve a knife stabbing Junior multiple times in the leg, cutting an artery open. Suspect would flee following the attack, with Junior then being rushed to hospital and sadly being pronounced dead around three hours later. Suspect would go on to flee London following the murder and would be arrested days later. After a long trial, Suspect would be found guilty and would be given life with a minimum of 16 years. Rest in peace, Junior. Three days following the death of Junior, members of the AY-17 gang would drop a song titled Aylesbury Boy. This song gained loads of attention on apps like TikTok, this mainly being due to the fact that a rapper on the song known as Jay Wavy would rap, he got shot on his birthday, how's that for a birthday gift? A member would then walk out of a room with a birthday cake in the music video. These lyrics describe how a member of Zone 2, presumably TB, would be shot by a member of AY-17 while celebrating his birthday. 2019 was quite an inactive year for the Moscow 17 gang musically, with the only real rapper being Loose, who would drop a few songs throughout 2019. It was also known that in 2019, PS from Zone 2, or Hit Squad, would often post up in Edmonton dissing the Edmonton-based gang 3 times 3 This was mainly due to the fact that PS was banned from Peckham and had to live with his mum in Edmonton for a few months. Anyways, during 2019, E1 would end up catching PS lacking, with the entire incident being recorded by E1. PS would then run, with E1 and ZT chasing him on camera. PS! 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 Zone T. Days following this incident, members of 3x3 would go to PS's mum's house and would kick down her door whilst she was inside with PS. <laughs> Look at this silly boy, PS. Hey, Fuchu, come outside. Hey, hey, silly. Hey, come outside. Yo. Hey, Alu, Alu, come. Following this incident, alleged Zone 2 members would then shoot up Edmonton. However, luckily, no one was injured as a result of this shooting. This is something that was later wrapped in Zone 2's disrespectful track, No Censor, in which Quengface rapped, PS just shot up the 9. Now man's doing up cheeky snaps. E1 would later respond to this bar in his popular track, Enfield or Tottenham, where he rapped, Apparently you shot up the 9. PS tell me who you slapped. You weren't doing up cheeky snaps. When you bucked me in Zeds, you was doing up Dash, Panic, Panic Heart Attack. When you saw the GMs outside of your mums. In July 2019, LR from Zone 2 would drop his Lightwork Freestyle, which was seriously cold and amassed around 1.2 million views, this further putting Zone 2 on the map. However, the UK drill scene was not ready for what Zone 2 would release at the end of 2019. It would also be around three months following this Lightwork Freestyle that an alleged Moscow 17 affiliate would be killed by rival CMB members. It's important to note that Lil CJ was not a member of Moscow 17, but lived in Camberwell, which is where the Moscow 17 gang was from. It's known that CJ knew a few Moscow 17 members. On the 10th of October 2019, CJ would be visiting friends who lived on the Brandon estate. At around 7.30 p.m., CJ would decide to walk back to his home. Around six members of CMB would be in the area and would be looking for rivals. The members would notice CJ, who would begin to run with him even attempting to climb a tree. Sadly, however, he would be dragged down and would be stabbed multiple times, killing him on the scene. Police would end up arresting arresting all of his killers. However, in the end, only two of them would go on to be found guilty, receiving life sentences for the murder. Rest in peace, Lil CJ. Even though Lil CJ wasn't a member of any gang involved, his known affiliation with people that were members of the gang would be enough for rivals. Sadly, Lil CJ is often dissed and mentioned in Zone 2 songs, even though he wasn't a member. Zone 2 and Moscow 17 were both doing well musically around this time. However, it would be at the end of 2019 that Zone 2 would drop a seriously disrespectful track that would end up in the news and would result in multiple music videos being taken down by the Met Police. On the 8th of December 2019, Zone 2 members Unruly Bad, Karma, Trizak, Bigotti, LR, and Quengface would upload the music video to their track titled No Censor. And as you can tell by the name, this song really had no censorship on it. The song would open with Unruly Bad rapping about the knockout Ned stabbing in the McDonald's back in 2016. Karma would then lead the second verse with a highly disrespectful verse in which he rapped the names of dead rivals, followed by Put in a Spliff, and to make matters worse, a sonic coin effect was then added, this signifying a point had been scored. Zone 2 were actually one of the first groups to start using this sonic coin. However, nowadays it's quite common for rappers to use it within their songs. To put things simply, however, No Censor would be a self-snitching anthem and would be taken down in under 5 hours, although re-uploads still do exist. Zone 2's No Censor was featured in a news article by BBC only one day later on the 9th of December, with the headline being, Drill Video Naming Murdered Victims Banned by YouTube. At the beginning of 2020, Harlem 
MO members, as well as Moscow 17 members, would link up and would drop a response track to the No Censor song, this being titled, He's Dead. In the first verse of the song, Jay Mash would rap the names of dead rivals, followed by the disrespectful bar, Got Put in a Pack, He's Dead. This song would actually go viral on TikTok, and would often be used in the background of people's edits. Rest in peace, everyone involved. Whilst loads of tit-for-tat incidents occurred between members of both gangs around this time, many of them wouldn't even reach the news, and would just be rapped about. In 2021, Moscow 17 were looking as if they could return to the UK drill scene, but were just not consistent enough. Zone 2 would have a very good run in 2020, however, in 2021 a lot of the members would start to jump off road or quit rapping, and in 2022 it looked as if only Quengface was rapping. Since 2020, no other incidents have really occurred between the Zone 2 gang and Moscow 17, with it even being thought that Zone 2 has gone extinct nowadays, and isn't really a gang anymore. If you have learned anything from this video, make sure that it is to stay out of the streets, as this life only ever realistically leads to jail or death, and nothing positive. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's hit 100k by the end of the year.